the Fashion Flip YouTube channel. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Brandy and I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app and ThreadUp. So today I have part three of the Legends of the Fall haul. And today I will be sharing with you all of the jackets that I will be sending to ThreadUp. Now, if you're not familiar with ThreadUp, it is the largest online thrift store and it is a wonderful place to not only shop, but sell clothes. Um, I have been selling on the Poshmark app for about two and a half years. And if you resell clothes online, you know that it is very time consuming to take pictures, to prep clothes, to ship them to customers and deal with customer service. On ThreadUp, you don't have to worry about any of those. So a couple days ago, I visited my favorite thrift store and they were selling all of their jackets for $2 each. Now, to me, that is mind blowing because the profit margin on jackets is phenomenal. To me, I think dresses, jackets, jeans or shoes are probably the best way to go in the reselling industry um, so when they said two dollar jackets i definitely filled up my bag so i'm excited to share these brands with you um, i do have a combination of some luxury brands and some mall brand mid-tier um, now they do still have the tags on them i do need to do a little bit of cleaning like a couple of them has you know have a little bit of pilling or i need to take off some permanent marker um, on the tag um, so I definitely will be doing that, but I wanted to make sure that I shared these items with you because I really think that they will perform very well on the ThreadUp app. Plus, I don't have to take pictures, so that's even better. So the first item that I will be sharing with you is Carlisle, and it is, what is that, a size 8 and it is this beautiful like tweed jacket and it is in such great condition and it has like these beautiful um like black buttons they're just so pretty now they do have it does have a couple little snags but i will be just cutting off the threading i think once i cut it off it'll be perfectly fine um, but carlisle performs very well on thread up um, I have a skirt on ThreadUp right now, um, and it's priced at around three to four hundred dollars. I don't know if it'll necessarily sell around that um, price, but to start off, you know, around three to four hundred dollars, and then my jacket, I only pay two dollars. I felt like it was definitely worth the, um, you know, investment. Now, one thing I definitely want to point out, um, like as I mentioned, I do need to take off the tags and add a little bit of care to them. I highly recommend turning your items inside out um, before you send them to thread up. And here is the perfect example why. When you turn it inside out, you do see some white deodorant um marks so i definitely would need to take those out before sending it to thread up because if you don't they will send it they will send it right back to you and if you don't pay for the return assurance then your item is lost gone forever next up i have this adorable pink tweed and tailor jacket um what is that A size two and it is this it's a cropped jacket and this is definitely on trend right now um, for fall 2020 so i really think that this jacket will perform well also ann taylor thread up loves ann taylor so um, highly recommend sending that brand next up i have this j crew navy blue schoolboy jacket and it is a size four. Now it is J. Crew factory, um, and you always know if it's factory because it has the little dots there. There's two dots. Um, if you're not familiar with factory, it is basically kind of like a lower tier end of the standard line, if you will. So it doesn't necessarily retail for as much, um, but because this is a schoolboy type blazer um, jacket um, and as J. Crew, I definitely felt like it was worth picking up. And then again, I only pay $2 for it. 
Um, I have sent two or three Ralph Lauren schoolboy type jackets and they have sold within 24 to 40 hours of ThreadUp listing them on their platform. So I definitely recommend picking up that type of jacket if you see it out in the uh, thrifting world. Next up is Cynthia, I think it's Steffe. I might be saying it wrong, but it is a size six and it is this cropped jacket. It's like a, I think it's like a black, it's like a black and white um, cute jacket. It has like this flap in the back, uh, but it's in great condition. And this price is, you know, very well on thread up. I believe I have one of her skirts on the platform and I was surprised that thread up let me list it at like $300. So I'm excited to see um, how high I can list that jacket. So now this one here is not necessarily my style but there's a couple reasons, actually there's a few reasons why I picked up this jacket and why I decided to send it to thread up. One is the brand, the price range that thread up will let me list it at. And because it's, I think it will photograph well, again, even though I don't think it's my style, I don't think I'd ever see myself wearing it, but, and outside of the fact that it needs to be cleaned, which is easy peasy, um, and it was only $2, I felt like it only made sense. So this one is K under and is a size eight. And it's almost like this silk printed blazer jacket. Now it's in great condition, like after I clean it, but I was, I'm fairly new to K under. So I don't know if you are familiar with the brand. If you are, definitely let me know um, if you sell it on ThreadUp or any other platforms, but this is relatively a new brand for me. And um, the thrift store that I go to has a lot of this brand. So um, I decided to send a few of her items and the dresses and the skirts, um, you can list for very high. One this one here is a brand that I definitely do not pick up uh, simply because it just doesn't retail for high or resells for high. Um, but I felt like the style was absolutely adorable. This is by Jessica Simpson and it's a size large and it is this beautiful vest. Um, it's like a wool vest and it is in great condition. I love the zippers and it has like this leather kind of like strap here. And I really felt like this is like the perfect goodie box material. So I definitely see thread up, picking that up, adding to their goodie boxes and paying me out immediately. So because it was $2, I felt like it was worth it. It's pretty hard to take a loss if you're paying $2 on a style that is really cute. Um, next up is Ann Taylor, it's size two. It's like this blue green tweed jacket. It is absolutely adorable. It has like these double pockets, double breast pockets, and it is in great condition. Again, Ann Taylor is definitely the way to go when it comes to thread up. A lot of their customers love buying Ann Taylor. Um, Next up, I have Chico's, a size one, and it is this sleeveless, like long cardigan. And it has like this drape front. Now, Chico's um, jackets, sweaters, definitely send in. If it's kind of just like a top, I really wouldn't recommend it. I've sent some tops in and it was priced really low or thread up just didn't want it. Um, now I have two more for you. I'm saving the best for last, or I should say the one that I'm most excited about for last because when I saw the jacket, I just really felt like it was just such a special piece of clothing. But next, we have White House Black Market. It is a size six, and it is like this burgundy floral one button jacket. And 
I felt like it is just so perfect for fall and so beautiful. I even love like the button details. White House Black Market, um, I'd say you can probably get between 20 to $30. Um, I have a few White House Black Market um, tops and they're listed between 70 to $90. So I felt like the, this, this will be my first like jacket sending in. So I'm assuming it would price more than the tops, but I really feel like it'll photograph well and it's floral and I'm a sucker for floral. And it was $2, so. Now, this is the item that I am most excited about, not only because I only pay $2, but because the details are amazing. It's so beautiful, um, but this is by Worth. It's a size eight, and it is like this tweed denim jacket that is absolutely stunning it is in perfect condition i don't even need to clean it like i don't even think this has been really worn at all like it has zero signs of wear the buttons are in great condition and this jacket would have likely retailed for about seven to eight hundred dollars and thread up um they i have another worth jacket and it's listed for a few hundred dollars. So I feel like because of the tweed and the denim combination and just the details, I really think this is gonna photograph well um, and I should be able to list it for about three to 350 or price it at three to 350. I'm so used to saying list because I've been selling on Poshmark for so long and I don't even have to list it anymore, which is glorious, I can't tell you. Taking pictures is like the worst thing ever. So to me, but um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how well this Worth jacket is going to perform. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you haven't had a chance to check out my other two videos on sweaters and dresses, I highly recommend checking them out.